We thought we'd give you a break today from the incompetence of the federal government and talk about how to save a man's life, whether it be a husband, a father, or to men directly, how to save your own life. Nick Green joins me. He's a businessman from Vancouver, and he has been a survivor, having had prostate cancer 11 years ago. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're sitting. What's your message to every male or to every female who knows a male? Well, my message to you, Stephen, and to all men over 50 is that screening and early detection of prostate cancer can save your life and improve your quality of life if you're unfortunate enough to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Okay, let's just take that down for a second. Screening, it's not a big involved test, is it? No, it's very straightforward and it was always part of the uh, annual checkup that most men had. Yes. So we always got a, a PSA, PSA test and a DRE physical exam. You said past tense. It well, was always currently, uh, current recommendations from the health authorities are that screening is not necessary because the bean counters have gotten a hold of the, the, the whole health system and say, statistically, not that many men die, if more men die if they're not screened. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, the screening is relatively cheap, and the treatment of prostate cancer can be extraordinarily expensive and deadly. That's right. And, and the problem is that if you don't screen and you wait until somebody is showing symptoms and the cancer is metastasized to their bones or some other part of their body, then the treatment is going to be much more grave and much more expensive for the system. And it's, it's, uh, it's actually not too successful in many cases. Well, the thing about, about if not If it's gone that far. Yeah, it's not. It's, it can be successful. It all depends. Time is your key is the key. So go, let's go back to testing. So should a male be tested every year? Every year. And, and that was always the standard. But the problem is that, that they're saying now it's, there's a lot of false positives. So not screening is like if I tell you to take the, the, fire, the uh, smoke detector out of your kitchen because sometimes it goes off when your house isn't burning down. Yeah. So that's your false positive. Well, and everybody saw the smoke detector. We learned all about that during COVID. But the fact is that what you're saying is that the governments should insist on testing. It's not invasive. It's not expensive. And people should ask for it. Men people, should ask for it, women should ask their men to get it. That's right. And nowadays you have to ask for it because many young doc, younger doctors are told not to, to screen or don't even ask you if you want to be screened. And you and I both know people who have not been screened. Who've and had, wake up with succumbed. a very, very nasty surprise if you find out afterward that your cancer's advanced and you're probably looking at very a great, a, a big treatment, difficult treatment, and a, and a and very reduced quality of life if you have a life. And it may be over. It may be over. I'm glad you're here. Great message. And thanks very much. Three minutes. You have just heard another discussion that would not be allowed on the Trudeau-funded state media. Not just the CBC, but all the other media that gets hundreds of millions of dollars from the government. So if you want a discussion of ideas, stick with us. Please subscribe. And if you can, PayPal, because we need a little bit of dollars to keep this going. Thank you. Thank you.